Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club and IT Agartala. So we will be discussing the PIP problem of 21 day coding challenge by DCC. So the name of the challenge is Invisibility Cloak. So in this problem basically uh, in the last problem Raj and Vedant were playing the chess game so after uh, many rounds we, the Kavi, Kavi Bolton, Vic Stark and Tej Tanathor could not figure out who could who will be the final winner so they decided that they both will go so in in the way there was a risk of dementors so they had to find a cover for themselves and that cover was invisibility cloak so basically there were many types of cloak some would protect you from no normal muggles some will protect you from witches and some could even from the dementors so basically we have to find the way to to find find a way to get this ethereal wrap which can conceal them them from dementors of rnt on their way to ministry of magic so what are the basic details that we have to focus on so basically you can see here that that here is the condition so if the code on cloak can be reorganized in such a way that absolute difference between two consecutive indices is never more than one then particular cloak is indeed the coveted eth ethereal wrap so can you help raj and vedan in finding the way finding the ethereal wrap so let's look at input format here so input format is easy just first line is test case then the first line first line of every test case will be m that will be the size of integer then there will be n integers and which will be actually letters of code so if it is ethereal wrap then you have to print yes it is it is ethereal wrap else you have to print out it's it's a normal invisibility cloak so it is just you have to see if you can rearrange it such, it such that the maximum difference between the two consecutive terms is not more than one so how to do it what should be your basic approach here so let's see here by this test case so here three two two three four three five four so basically how can you reorganize it such that you can find it out if it is ethereal wrap or not so we can see here by some example actually so wait let me show you so here our numbers are Number three, two, two, and then um, three, four, three, five, four, three, four, three, five, four. So basically, what should be our approach here? So we can see that if if just it is basically instinct based or you can say intuition based so if you see if somehow you arrange it in ascending or descending order then you will get basically every digit and the digits closest to it so for example if we rearrange it in ascending order okay so what will it be two two three three Three, four, four, five. 
you can see here two two three 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 four four five. So here you can see the closest digit. Here to closest digit. Here to closest digit. So basically, if you have done it in ascending order, now you just have to see the differences. So here, see the difference. Here, difference is zero, zero. Here, difference is one. Here, difference is again zero, again zero. Then here one, then zero, and then one. So basically, in this case, you can see after rearranging that the different max difference that we get is just one. So we can see here the condition for ethereal wrap that the difference between two consecutive indices is never more than one. So for this case, you can see it it goes never more than one. So this is satisfying. So you can print here that this is ethereal wrap. But here for one five, you can clearly see that there are just two digits. So no matter how you re rearrange it, you will get just the difference of four. So it cannot be ethereal wrap. So it is just a normal normal invisibility cloak. So do you get it? It it is just simple. You have to sort this set of array, and then you have to check the differences. And you will you will get get the minimum differences, and if that minimum if that difference is more than one, if any of the difference is more than one actually, then this cannot be ethereal wrap. So we should see how this works as a code. So here you can see here we have taken that z for total number of test cases, then n for the number of number of codes in this array and then an is an array consisting of these codes and then we input it simply then we have used this sort a dash a comma a plus m and its size of our array so this is used to sort this array in ascending order now we have used this boolean initiated by taking it true and we will make it false if the condition of ethereal wrap is broken at any point. So we are just taking two consecutive terms. The the term such that we can see here ai and then ai minus one. Ai minus one means the previous term. So we are checking if ai is greater than more than one of previous term. Then that means the difference is more than one. You can write it as a i minus a minus one greater than one two. This will work as well. So now if this is satisfied, that means the difference between two consecutive terms is more than one, and then the condition for ethereal wrap is broken. So we we are changing that our boolean to false, and here. After checking for all values, if the boolean is yes, then only we have to see out ethereal wrap. Otherwise, it is just a normal invisibility cloak. So we can submit this one code to to verify for once. And wait, 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 wait. And here you can see that it is accepted. So basically, it is just simple. Solution for this question that you have to arrange it either in ascending order or descending order. Then you have to check at every indices for every two consecutive terms if the difference between the two absolute difference between the two is more than one or not. If it's it it satisfies the condition for ethereal wrap, then you have to output. That it yes it is ethereal wrap. Otherwise, you have to output it is just a normal invisibility cloak. Thank you.